In this video, I accomplished my goals from the first and second episodes and get a little bit more advanced. Also, I find out something kind of strange. Alright guys, well before I started recording, I was doing some looking in this uh, craft bot, a little bit more close looking in the descriptions of items and just what all there was. I found that there are chests, uh, which is obviously how I'm going to store items. So I think because my inventory is getting a little full, I want to definitely try to get a large chest this episode. Uh, I think it should be possible. I got to get some glue. Glue comes from glue clams and then i gotta get metal blocks i already have this but i gotta get metal metal blocks which just comes from basically crafting scrap metal blocks into metal blocks so i gotta get a lot of scrap metal so that's gonna be one of the main goals of today's episode trying to get some storage as well as i'm planning to make a farm so now that we know like i can't build it big farms or else it gets oh no what do i do wait what can i drink ah I have a sun shake and please don't die. Okay, we're good. All right, big farms get destroyed by the farm bots. So I need to just create a small farm, but I definitely do need to create a farm because currently, as you just saw, I'm dehydrated and I'm hungry. I'm just gonna pick up this old one because it's not in a very good spot. It's a little far from the water. So I'm gonna move my farm closer to the water and hopefully that will help. I'm gonna craft some buckets to help me carry more water. What the heck? I just saw a light glowing in here. I walk in here and I see this. I think there's a robot under here. That is very odd. I then headed to some water nearby and started to set up my new farm. I'm not sure how close they have to be together to count as one farm and like for the farm bots to see them as one. Hopefully this is far enough away. We'll find out, right? Okay, so far. <laughs> I was about to say so far so good and then this thing just hits me. Okay, we didn't get a sign for unauthorized farming so we're good for now oh my goodness unauthorized farming so apparently this is too big can i get it to be authorized again can i reduce the size of my farm i decided to destroy half of the farm so hopefully it wouldn't get attacked but the timer was still there so, so i bet that i bet that this size isn't unauthorized so i'm gonna hopefully do that and i'm gonna try to defend it um I don't have that many blocks, so let's go chop down some trees and try to build some defenses for this farm because I don't want to waste these seeds. During the process of harvesting wood for my wall, I managed to die two times from dehydration. I really need to figure out how to get some drinking water. Okay, here's my fort. The time is running out. Hopefully, I can defend my crops. Ooh. <laughs> I found- I remember I had this light. I'm gonna actually place it. All right, I got a light too now. I placed that. I just remembered I had it. All right, final seconds before the fight. And... All right, they're coming from that way. They're coming from this way. Oh, snap. Wait, where are they going? Are they coming this way? Wait, what? They came from that way and that way, and then they met up in the middle. What? All right. Oh, I don't see any hay bots. That's good, because these ones are a lot easier to take out the tiny green ones i'm not sure what they're called so this time i'm actually going to defend it instead of just watching them destroy all my crops because i mean it didn't go so well last time is that it that appears to be the only attack. So I guess my farm wasn't big enough to render a uh, huge attack. So that actually wasn't that bad. Well, uh, the timer's back. I didn't even make it larger. Uh, it looks like I might have to defend this every single night. <sighs> Which will be annoying, but I guess I can collect resources around here. Come back protect it and uh, go back to getting resources because i do need to grind for some resources in order to make these new things so i guess i'll have to just stay in the area i had a few things to grab before i could build the large chest so i grabbed them and then i headed to the mechanic station to get crafting all right so metal blocks collect 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 and collect all right nice i now have exactly 60 metal blocks okay that actually worked out perfectly so i guess it goes i thought it was 15 to 1 but it's actually 10 so for every 15 scrap metal it makes 10 metal blocks that is a lot better than i thought it was so oh i just need to make glue 
All right, glue. I got some of these glue clams, so one more piece of glue. And I can craft a large chest. And it's done. All right, so now I got a large chest. Just put a little platform here. And I'm gonna place this chest just like that. All right, very nice. I went ahead and just placed some farming stuff in here to clear up my inventory. I then wanted to collect some resources for a new car, which we found out last video requires beeswax for the wheels. All right, I have four minutes before the attack. I'm going out to this rock to check if it has bees on it, because I remember seeing a rock that had bees on it. Oh, there are bees on it. How do I get the bees? And please say I don't get stung by the bees and die. No, how do you get up there? Can I build and like parkour on my builds like jump up there uh jump up here here and i fell okay two minutes come on i gotta do this before the timer runs out so i can get up here and get back yes no no okay i'm gonna miss this attack and i need to defend my farm so i'm gonna go back i'll figure out how to get up to the bees in a second okay they are here let's defend this in the water <gasps> it actually works water does stun the farm bots i mean it makes sense it makes complete sense but i just never it never crossed my mind before. All right, well, now that that is done, I'm gonna go back to trying to get these bees. Okay, I mean, uh, I guess we should probably just try to make actual stairs instead of trying to make it so I have to parkour on this, so. Come on. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, I made it to the bees. Let's go. How do I get the wax without getting stung? I feel okay. I can't grab anything So my only my other instinct is to just hit it the problem with hitting it is I almost can just like there's no way They don't hit me like they, there's no way they don't come and start stinging me, but you live and you learn Wait What? They actually- <laughs> Wait, what? What? They don't sting you? What kind of bees are they? They just let you take their beeswax. Thank you bees for being so nice and not trying to kill me. After checking what I needed, I went back to farming resources, defended the farm from another attack, and of course, died two more times. All right, let's see how many wheels I can make with the current amount of metal I have. One, here's two, then I got some more metal. All right, looks like I can create all four of them. And then I'm gonna need to make this engine, so I'm gonna need 10 more metal, which is 15 more scrap metal. And I also need to make bearings. Okay, I got a little bit more metal to collect, but then I will be able to actually build this vehicle. And hopefully it's a lot better than the old one, and it's actually worth keeping. I mean, you can actually, like, place parts. So maybe I can just, like, put some stuff on the ground here in order to clear up some inventory space. Yeah, like that. I can just place it instead of having to make a chest always. All right, just got to kill a little bit more farm bots. And then I will be ready to make a new car. Uh, well, uh, I was trying to get some more metal by raiding this, uh, building here. And, uh, well, I died. Just wanted to make sure you guys, uh, had a full count of my deaths. What the? Garment box. Use it in the dress bot to make new clothes. I don't have to look like this my whole life. I can get new clothes. Well, that is definitely happening next episode. I'm not going to do it right now because I already had a goal and I'm going to complete that. But next episode, don't see me, robot. Ah! You definitely do see me. I messed up the recording. Wait, no. I accidentally put my mouse in OBS. Oh my goodness, what just happened? You can't even see the recording right now. I'm sorry. Let me fix this. All right, there you go. Now you can see it again. And uh I'm going to have to respawn. Oh uh, man, I was kind of far. Uh, I should be able to craft everything I need and put this car together now. To build the car, I started off building some blocks and then placed the seat on top of them. 
Then I built out some blocks for where the wheels would go, put the bearings in place, put the wheels on them, slapped an engine on the back, connected everything up, spun some things around, and it was done. <laughs> I just died sitting down. Look at this. All right. Respawn, and then I think I finished the car. I gotta test it, make sure it does actually work, because as we know, last time I made a car, it did not work immediately, so functioning. Oh, wait, I can use this. All right, anyways, so let me remove the lift. Let me put some gas in here. So I can upgrade this. What the? I'm sorry, why did the engine just start by itself? Oh, I'm not connected to the engine. That's probably why. There we go. We got the engine actually working. And this is a super smooth ride. Look at this. You know what's funny? Last time I showed off a car, something I just noticed, it was just turning night, and that's exactly what just happened now. But anyways, this is a super smooth ride, and I believe, now that I have a ton more gasoline, this is actually an efficient way to maneuver the map. It's a little bumpy off-road, but it's not that bad. Like, the last vehicle was absolutely terrible. This actually functions. It took me quite a while to get everything for it, but uh, I'm definitely happy that I did a grind to get all the materials to make this thing because this thing is insane. I'm just gonna go ahead and park this inside, and uh, I think that's just about gonna do it for the episode. We made a little farm. We got a chest, which is very useful. We also have a little pile of materials over here, but uh, yeah, and then we got this really nice car. It looks similar to the last one, but it is like 10 times better. So basically, we just uh, got a better version of what we accomplished on episode one and a better version of what we accomplished on episode two. We got a car, we got a farm, and I uh, just thank you for watching this whole thing. We are getting close to 1,000 subs, so if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing, and uh, I'll just see you in the next one. Bye!